This local sports report is presented by Carolyn Sullivan from Keller Williams Home Group Realty, a proud supporter of Center Wellington Minor Lacrosse. If you're thinking about buying or selling, work with a leading realtor in Center Wellington. Contact Carolyn direct at 226-979-2922 and experience the most from your home purchase or sale. Let's head to Center Wellington for U7 Select Lacrosse. The Center Wellington Riverhawks on home floor at the CW Sportsplex. The Riverhawks would face off with the Guelph Regals. The Regals invading CW looking to come home with a win. Jumping into the action is a good start for the Riverhawks netminder. Cameron Harrett shoots. Logan McDonald gets a shoulder on it and turns it away. The Regals would keep the pressure up and it's a good rush from Bo Dorland. He sneaks around the defense and fires, and Bo's got a goal! So it's 1-0 Regals. And the Regals wouldn't stop there. Watch Brody shields on the rush. He spins and shoots, and Brody's got a beauty! So it's two for Guelph. And the Regals would make it three moments later. Wyatt Ritchie fires this one home, and the Regals are rolling. The Riverhawks look to answer, but look out for Bo Dorland on defense. He breaks up the chance, and it stays 3-0. CW keep the pressure up and it's a good chance for Jack Lindsay. His shot bounces in, so the Riverhawks are on the board. Jumping to the second now and it's more from Wyatt Ritchie. He scores his second and the Regals are back in front by three. And Wyatt was just getting started. Only seconds later and how about you complete your hat trick? Wyatt scores his third and it's 5-1 Regals. Then it's Bo Dorland looking for his second, but how about Logan McDonald? He makes a big stop and the Riverhawks look to battle back. Later in the period now and here comes Harrison O'Neill for the Regals. He's got a man on him, but he gets a shot off and Harrison scores it. So it's six for the Regals. And the Regals would add another moments later. Brody Shield sends this one through the goal mesh and it's seven for Guelph. Late in the second now, 8-1 Regals and it's the Riverhawks with a chance. Easton Holmes lets it go on the break. Jack Sampson makes a good stop. The Regals back the other way and how about one from Cameron Harrett? He's got a fadeaway bouncer and it's nine for the Regals. Final seconds of the second, the Regals now at 10 and how about Wyatt Ritchie? He's got a spin move and he's got his sixth goal of the game. So it's 11 for Guelph. Head to the third period now and it's the Riverhawks coming alive with some defense from Jackson Reinhardt. He finds a steal in the Riverhawks counterattack. Jackson works his way to the Regals net and Jackson's got a beauty. That's a two-way goal from Jackson Reinhardt and the Riverhawks are at two and Jackson would get another moments later. Here he's on a breakaway, and he roosts it. What a shot from Jackson, and he's got a pair. The Riverhawks battling hard in the third, and minutes later, how about Jack Lindsay? He protects the ball and shoots, and Jack's got a pair as well. Late in the game now, and it's more from the Riverhawks. Austin Dagg cuts inside and sends it home. So the Riverhawks make it five, as this one comes to an end. So a great third period from the Riverhawks with four goals, but in the end, it's the Guelph Regals taking the win. This one ending with a final score of 11-5 on Tuesday night.